1987, Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2. Uh, 30 years after her accidental death at her 1957 senior prom, the tortured spirit of prom queen Mary Lou Maloney returns to seek revenge. Directed by Bruce Pittman, who uh, did the Maniac Mansion TV show. Do you remember that? Does anybody oh, remember that? Really? The, remember yeah, that. with um, Joe Flaherty. I think it was Eugene Levy production uh but yeah uh he did ray, ray bradbury theater too uh written by ron oliver who wrote prom night three the last kiss and uh <laughs> see, seemingly a fun movie nowadays it seems as though he's just writing and directing christmas movies for tv because uh he had like 10 <laughs> recent christmas movies on his he, uh, he get that money Hallmark. yeah do you get have that any money. information jason I do, but let me first say that I'm fine. I'm glad we finally got around to review on this. Like it's been a it's been a poll pick like two different mm-hmm. times, and it's never won. Finally, finally, executive um, action. Yeah, uh. our tagline: <laughs> Mary Lou wants to be prom queen, even if it kills her again. Uh, distributed by Samuel <laughs> Goldwyn, and let, last that I know of on DVD through MGM, 2008 out of print uh, i've wanted to upgrade my vhs for a while now <laughs> yeah i think yeah i think you can get one for 50 bucks maybe oh. um so this one desperately needs a blu-ray treatment mm. yeah desperately. big time big time yeah. um i don't know about you guys but i really feel that if mary lou hadn't went into slow motion and uh maybe actively tried to either evade the fire or just you know take her clothes off and get away from it maybe do a stop drop and roll i don't know she did not try at all to not be burned <laughs> to death you not, know, she not take a moment and look up in the yeah the, the look up like you the, did this to yeah. me um yeah she just let the fire consume her uh Regardless, this movie uh, drips 1987. So many side ponies and Aquanet bangs. That I'm surprised people aren't just bursting into flame day to day at this high school. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, just one cigarette. You know, uh, I have another think, fire this week. <laughs> too much, <laughs> don't bring your hairspray anymore. Um, <laughs> the 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 coolest part about this movie for me is the rocking horse. I don't know if that's anybody else like that. Shit. Right? I thought, yeah. Whoever so fucking weird. crafted that, whoever made that, knocked it out of the park. It was just fucking awesome. Um, even when it's just sitting there, even when it's just sitting there, not moving, but still has the red eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Creepy cool. shit. Did a great um, job. And what a weird, th- what a weird thing, because it's you know just an added little. Somebody had to be real hyped about that. Like, yeah, we'll have an evil. <laughs> we'll have an evil. Well, uh, that's that's, uh, that's that's ha- that has to be someone's real nightmare because I don't know mm-hmm. about you guys, but I I had a rocking horse growing up, so I'm guessing that's something that like, yeah, I can see whoever that. whoever was in charge of that scene responsible for it <laughs> flipped out when they. I, that's a childhood trauma right there. They had a yeah. rocking horse in their room. That, terrified i'm sure it triggered is it doesn't the white horse like symbolize something isn't that like you know like how rob zombie ended halloween 2 like there's some symbolism behind him is it yeah oh i don't know i never understood it i never Um, understood anyways uh, but yeah that horse ruled anyways keep going (laughs) the best uh effect for me but uh the LA Times, when this movie came out, wrote that um, that the this movie is the blue velvet of high school horror pictures. Does that shit make any literal sense to anybody here? Have you guys seen Blue Velvet? David Lynch's Blue Velvet. No, I've never. Long I never time have. ago. Once. Okay. Does this remind you in any fucking way, aside from them dr- drinking coffee and maybe inserting themselves into a situation like the boyfriend? character kind of inserts himself into a situation that he doesn't need to be kind of like Kyle McLaughlin's character does in that movie. But I don't know, man, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, well, a really cool sequence in this movie uh, for multiple reasons uh, was the locker room uh, sequence where um, Vicky says, want bump a loo bump a want bam boom. And then the lockers crush a girl and she oozes out scene. of the thing. But um, 
this is the turning point in the movie where it really picks up pace and things start getting really, really fun. Michael Ironsides uh, just decides to knock out his own son. Uh, that's <laughs> Michael Ironsides, right? That's who it is. Yeah, Michael Ironside. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He knocks out his own son and then goes to shoot his girlfriend who is possessed by <laughs> by a woman he killed. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's crazy to me. Uh, yeah. just not, uh, he's a real no nonsense, jilted lover. He wants to kill this bitch so many times. <laughs> um, but ultimately, I hadn't watched this for a while, and it just has total flavor of like if Carrie and Night of the Demons had a baby. For sure, it's it's definitely better than. I think. I think uh, uh, I, I watched it on Shutter. Their description I thought was perfect. They have. Uh, Nightmare, Nightmare on Elm Street 2 and Carrie. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty nailed it. I think it's definitely better than Carrie, in my opinion. (laughs) I mean, I'm not big on Carrie. um, It's kind of slow for me, but it's not as good as Night of the Demons. I give it an 8 out of 10, though. I mean, that's where I'm at. Yeah, so I guess we got a a Supernatural-type slasher. Um I like I like the oldie songs being played throughout. Yeah. We we mm-hmm. don't get a whole lot of horror movies where that's where that's the music. No. In the, Sometimes in the they come back. Probably one of the. Few. We, I, I didn't even take a we, Frank. We and you both like Phil Dirt and the Dozers. Oh yeah, we used to meet up at those oldies <laughs> oldies shows. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, several good scenes in this movie. Yeah. Uh, just a, a few of them was the early on. They 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 tease you with that uh, paper cutter that so you, yeah. you think you think there's gonna be a paper cutter kill, and then all of a sudden it just like hangs her from the from the light did fixture. It, did it and surprise they you? They that... don't kill her that way, did it? No, it throws her out the window. Like that was a great mm-hmm. scene. Did like, it I, surprise you that they killed that girl her. at all? They were framing that girl up to be like. Like yeah. trying to get you to give a shit about her fucking mental state, and I, I just felt she was annoying and dressed like an idiot. So, like, I thought it was, but they were definitely putting her like, <laughs> <laughs> they were putting her in the forefront, which is strange, you know. Yeah, that's the, it was that the whole scene there was good. Uh, the bedroom scene with the horse I thought was great, and Mary Lou. Uh, coming out of vicky at the end like that was a great scene like mm-hmm. what chaos is going on like that was just a great scene um we get full frontal 80s bush in this for a long time points for that uh, for a long yeah. time a good good amount of nudity in this uh the kills are good the effects look good i, I think it's a great movie um, I was teetering back and forth between a nine or ten, and it's like, well, I don't know really you know what I'm docking it for. So it's a ten, ten out of ten for me. Well, what else you want to do for him? Bake him a pie. Yeah, this is <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> this is one of them ones. This was an up all night staple. You know, this is one you talk about on the school bus. Hey, did you ever hear that movie Prom Night too? You know, it's about. I remember one girl specifically going, hello, Mary Lou, like that for some reason. I don't know, to make it creepy or whatever. Mm. Uh, (laughs) But um, I really do like this movie a lot. That's why I picked it. It's got so much going for it. And as crazy as the script is, the script doesn't really like make all that much sense. You know what I mean? But it does to me. I'm like, I remember on, um, do you guys ever listen to How Did This Get Made? Yeah. With Paul Shear and All the time I've Jason listened Manzikis. to every episode. <laughs> they, they covered this. Yeah. yeah. They covered this and they tore it apart, obviously. And I, just to me, I we were listening yeah. to it. <laughs> It'll break your heart sometimes, man. Yeah. We were driving, we were driving down to fucking um, Myrtle Beach and we listened to that. And I'm just listening, and they're saying all this stuff that I totally understand that they didn't understand. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why don't you understand that? She's a fucking vengeful spirit. Let her, she has powers. Who gives a shit? Like, just. I've the done horse, the same the thing. The horse man. looked fucking cool. I've Look done the at same it. thing. Whenever uh, they did Masters of the Universe, 
I lost oh, my God, shit. I, know. I was like, no, 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 you guys don't understand. This is great. <laughs> yes. I, same same thing. I was doing the same thing. My wife's driving down to Myrtle Beach and I'm in the passenger side fucking yelling at a pre-recorded <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Like, God damn you, shut up. Dolph Lundgren was awesome. I don't care if they had to ADR his shit because he couldn't speak yeah. English. He's fucking he, man. man. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I this gave me Nightmare on Elm Street 2 vibes all day. Like, I didn't even see that description on Shutter. Like, I didn't even read that. Um, the, the girl that played Mary Lou, Lisa Schrage, Schrage, I'm not sure how you say her last name. Um, holy shit, she was a dime herself, man. She was one good looking lady. Like, mm-hmm. she, and I saw, like, within the last couple years, she started, she did at least one convention in Canada. Um, because you know, obviously, this is a Canadian film, so I'm hoping maybe she starts, maybe she'll get around here sometime because I would love to get her autograph. That'd be so rad. Uh, hook up with her, I guess. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh yeah. And how have you guys seen Prom Night One? Oh, I've tried yeah, to watch yeah, it a few times. I've never got through. Yeah, I fucking wait. Hate we it. didn't. It we didn't review it. No, no. Well, I've I've well, never watched well, it all the way through. Good. I, yeah, want, I, 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 I always I bought it at one point and I'm like it. I'm I saw it I'm like oh I've never seen this Leslie Nielsen uh uh who, who else is in it uh, Jamie Lee Curtis Jamie Lee Curtis and I'm like oh yeah. and the cover looks cool and then I started watching it I'm like this is boring <laughs> so no, I, 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 I mean I, I don't know I like I yeah like it. I, I this was a this was a vast improvement. <laughs> this is more. Like, you know, it's not related. I think I, you I know. probably would. Yeah, the first we're gonna have to have seen we're have to do problem night. Never had to Yeah, we'll have to yeah. do all these. Yeah, I, mean, I haven't seen three. Is there more than three? three? Is super fun. Yeah, is there four? Is it's, there's four of them, and four has oh, nothing wait, no. to do I with. Yes, I have part. four. I have. I haven't seen four on on tape. I forgot. I forgot all about that. Oh, okay. Three of us fun. Just here somewhere. I picked them up at a, off a. Of, let's just say Three. a very fe- feminine guy. <laughs> I, was, I was scared to enter his house, but he had tapes for fifty cents a piece, so I went, I went in. <laughs> and got a he <laughs> risked it all for them fifty cent tapes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, the funny thing about this movie is you can find I've bought it multiple times and you can find it at Goodwills all the time. I got it for 99 cents. I wish they That's would rad. put these goddamned stickers on them directly on the cardboard that I have to figure out either leave it on there, just fucking leave it on there. Or... You know, funny enough, the 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 spine of one of the VHSs creeped me the fuck out and it only had a, you know, it only had a, a, a picture that big it was mary lou where she was half mary lou and half like i don't know but she looked like melted like melted wax you know what i'm saying like that's not this one yeah yeah. i I thought not it's the one it was probably that creeped me out man whenever she comes out of uh vicky at the end Mm -hmm. that's not the same actress that right the the one that's covered in burnt up makeup and shit that's a completely different woman and then they transition exactly to it like uh, they did a great edit on it. They did great. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I loved. I loved how how they went about it. Um. Yeah, lots of lots of good kills. Uh, the I had the same. I felt the same. The crushing of the lockers, like you don't see something like that every day. And, that it, was and awesome. it's not. It's not just. It's not just good kills. Like they put good scenes together. They put mm-hmm. good segments together. Hmm. Yeah, like there's there's parts you're gonna like about this movie, even if you don't like the movie as a whole. Um, but I love this movie as a whole. I saw it so many times growing up. Um, Michael Ironside, I'll pretty much watch anything he's in. He's a great actor. I love Highlander too because of him. Like he was funny in that movie. I love this character. Uh, <laughs> um, the horse. I don't know why it was there, but I'm glad it was. That thing was creepy as shit. <laughs> um, I, oh, man. How many of you guys cheered when Vicky threw her mom through the door? 
Like yeah. that was awesome. She was, was good. a fucking raging bitch. Dude, I was, man. I was Jesus a little bit, Christ. I was a little bit in a we because she right before that she like makes out with her dad. <laughs> that was Mary Lou doing oh, that though. Well, yeah, it was, you know, no, she was like full was Mary Lou up. mode. Yeah, oh yeah, still. But I'm so glad she threw. I was still caught up in. Door. I was still caught up in. Her mom had seen it happen, and I was like, "Oh God!" <laughs> and just calls her a Jezebel. <laughs> yeah. Fucked up. Um. Yeah, but this this movie this movie's a ten for me. I really like it a lot. <laughs> you know, you grew up with it. Um, it's so unique too. There ain't another movie like this. This isn't mm-hmm. a clone of anything. You know what I mean? Like a, she, yeah. this is a pissed off. This is like so, Carrie's revenge. So different from the first. Yeah, because I never was told anything about it being different when I when I saw it. So I, the first yeah, I they saw pulled it, a, I was kind of I'm kind of disappointed to be honest with you. Um, they pulled a Halloween three with it. Yeah, yeah. Which, I, like I said, I hated. I hated um, prom night one. It just did nothing for me. It was a bore. I felt like I wasted my time watching it. Jamie Lee, of course, you know that's awesome. There were great actors in it and everything, but it just it never it never did anything for me. And then this did it all. <laughs> it was, <laughs> this is such a good movie, man. It's so bonkers, crazy. I I, I love it. I love it. Uh, Rob? I liked it. I, I gave it about an 8 out of 10. There was a, there was a few things I didn't like about it. It was like a little too much comedy, just a little bit, you know. And um, my funny thing about the title, the, the silly title, um, Prom Night 2, Hello, Mary Lou, is like um, originally it was going to be called The Haunting of Hamilton High. But um, this is the 80s where slasher movies were more popular. And so the geniuses at the studio are like, you know, um, we don't like that title, The Haunting of Hamilton High. So we're going to attach it to Prom Night and call it Prom Night 2, even though it has nothing to do with it. And we're just going to run with it there. And so it's kind of messed up. And then and then one of the um, things I read in Fangoria Magazine, the, one of the, the PRP were talking about the movie side like stand, it's like, it's Jason with Hooters, you know, it's... <laughs> oh my god one of those weird things but it was i did enjoy the special effects the kills were fantastic and um, the characters were fun you know it's just that um i think it it was just a, a, di- a bit more serious like they they could have um made this a real scary movie and they just kind of i don't know i just kind of i i think they could have just made a little creepier but that's the only reason why i gave it an eight because i was expecting more from it when i first saw it like oh gosh what how, how long ago was 1988 anyway i i had I too hard it, too hard to figure out yeah it's a long time ago yeah i used to have it on vhs so it's like i watched it like hundreds of times <laughs> yeah film, though. i like part yeah. three better especially because i think um the person they had in the playing um, Mary Lou in the third one was even hotter than the original actress. Well, Come yeah, on. and you, she you got to see Mary Lou throughout the whole movie though. Yes. This time, they, she was she was in the movie this time. Mm-hmm. You know, and the, the best part is when she's on the football field, yes, and throws that football and it turns into a big drill. Yeah, right. Is that that's what I've only seen it once, but that fucking stuck with me because that was so cool no spoilers Jeez. oh let's get out come of here. on well but that i would say you know well that's an approved movie right like right oh yeah 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 well that's the only one that was approved right really yeah i think so okay yeah. um <laughs>